Recording a movie in Mimic is quite simple. You can record a standalone movie or a movie that's part of a collection. The steps are pretty much the same. The only difference is whether you have a collection open when you begin the recording process. Once you have your computer screen ready to go with whatever you're going to record, open the movie ribbon and click the big red button. Mimic will minimize and you'll see a rectangle with a red border. The idea is that anything within that rectangle will become part of the movie. You'll also see a taskbar near the recording rectangle. If you've already recorded previously and have all of your movie settings just as you want them, you can just click the red button and start. However, if this is your first movie, or if you want it to be different from the last one you recorded, you may want to make some setting changes before you begin. First of all, you may want to adjust the recording rectangle. You can do this in lots of ways. You can simply click and drag the border around the area you want to record. Dragging the edges increases or decreases the size. Dragging the icon in the middle keeps the size intact and just moves the rectangle. You can also type exact pixel dimensions for the rectangle in the taskbar. The chain link icon can be used to fix the aspect ratio of the rectangle. This means that as you click and drag the rectangle to resize it, the height and width will stay in sync. There are also a few options if you click the down arrow on the taskbar. You can select one of the preset sizes for the rectangle. Or you can select Snap to Window if you have an application window open that you want to record. Using this option will snap the recording window around that element, resizing it automatically. If you select Move Window into Rectangle, the reverse happens. The application window is resized and moved into your red recording rectangle. Those are the most common changes you'll make before you begin recording. However, you can also click the Options button on the taskbar to specify some other settings. The dialog that opens lets you do a few different things. First, you can choose the recording mode. Automatic is probably the most common. This mode will automatically create frames for you as you perform actions such as clicking and typing. Manual mode means that you must press the print screen key on your keyboard whenever you want Mimic to create a new frame during the recording process. And video mode is used to capture full motion video. For example, if you have an actual video running on your screen and want to capture it, you can use video mode. If you plan to narrate the video as you record it, you can choose an audio input source. Please note that you also have the option of using third-party audio software to record your narration separate from the visual recording of the movie. You can then later associate the audio file with your movie. But that's another story, and another video in our series. You can also set other options, such as whether to play sound effects during the recording, whether to include callouts automatically as you click on things and how you want those callouts to look, recording cursor movements, and a few other things. See the online help for details. The only thing left on the taskbar is a button to enable and disable your microphone if you're using one. Otherwise, you're ready to begin recording. To start recording, just click the big red button. You'll briefly see some numbers counting down. After the countdown, you can start performing actions on your screen. You can use the recording taskbar to pause the recording or to end it. And once you end it, you simply give the movie a name, and you're done. For more information about recording movies, see this topic in the online help.